Okay, Acorn Chat actually works now, so it's time to figure out pricing. I am in an industry here where there are a lot of competitors, so I took a look at those. There are free competitors. I decided I do not want to go that route. I want something that people can pay for. The next tier up is about $19 to $29 a month. That is about the level I'm at right now. But beyond that, there's this $50 to $100 a month plan, and then $200 a month plan, and then past that is like intercom, which gets very expensive. Um, right now, I only have the features to be in a low tier, but that's okay. I can start there, and what this tells me is that there is room for me to grow. There's room for me to move up market. In particular, a lot of the very expensive plans, they attach some kind of CRM or other customer management. I don't want to build that, so it looks like I'm going to be in the $20 to $200 per month range. Of course, when thinking about pricing, I think about Patio11 and his tagline, charge more. Don't undersell yourself. So my competitors are $20 to $30 a month. That means I should not be pricing at $5 a month. I should be right in that range. A counter argument to charge more is something Justin Jackson puts on Twitter every so often. He says that for new Santa entrepreneurs, you have to prove yourself. And so too many people drink the charge more Kool-Aid when really you should be pricing for what you have and growing into it. He talks in this thread about eventually moving up market as well. And so that's why I'm not starting at $200 a month. I'm going to start at $29 a month. That is on the high end of low. And so we'll start there and see how it grows. To get this pricing page done quickly, I'm going to Tailwind UI, which I pay for, go to the pricing sections. And there are lots of different pricing pages here. I have one price, so I'm going to use this template here. And here's what this looks like integrated into Acorn Chat. Uh, there's just a tagline and a pricing page right now. <laughs> That's not a lot. Also, I added an annual plan as well, not just to show you how to do monthly and annual in Stripe, which is the next step, but also because if someone pays me $174 a year, that's a lot of cash right now compared to just $29. A year. So even though I'm pricing it at 50% off, which is a big discount to pay annually, it's still worth it for me to get the cash flow.